Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to learn how to do the birthday cake uh, idea for a border. This can go on any border on any afghan that you wish. I'm just going to be featuring a granny square but even if you have a solid square just like so or even a rectangle this particular border will work. So this has got a lot of layers to it and I'll show you the ins and outs for doing this pattern. So let's just quickly examine this pattern. What we're going to be using today is going to be using back posts just like you see and you get layers of color just like you see. Let's turn it around on the back so the back actually looks really decent so even if your afghan gets flipped over no big deal. So what we're going to be doing is that you can do as many layers that you want to. So I just happen to do three so you got the pink, the green and the blue. I could keep on going forever and ever that I wanted to because the pattern will stay in balance with each other. So let's uh, just take a look at uh, what we're going to be using for a base today which are the granny squares. So as I mentioned that you can use this for a square or a rectangle afghan. It doesn't matter. There is no set multiples of stitches that are going all the way around this thing. So I'm just going to use a smaller example like so because the stitch work will turn out to be exactly identical just like you see here. So in order to do anything like this if I was using a six millimeter size J crochet hook in order to do this I will just continue to use the same size hook yeah, and yarn in order to continue. So you can do any of these borders that I want to show you as long as that the yarn hook matches uh, each other. Okay so that they complement each other in order to keep it in balance. Now if your particular uh, afghan at this time is not buckling so it's nice and flat then this border will not buckle on you. So there's, so if it's already buckling at the stage and you haven't applied your border this will also buckle. So just uh, be paying attention to that. So let's start off round number one. So let's begin. I'm going to create a slip knot to get it so that it's uh, fastened on permanently as you go. Sometimes I get kind of paranoid uh, when things may fall, fall out. So this because this is a granny square I, or even if it's in any other kind of square what you want to do is pay attention to the very corner. So you're just going to go into the corner and you're going to insert your hook in and you're going to slip stitch it just like so so that it's attached. Now you're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet and you are going to double crochet two more times into that same corner. So one and see how I'm burying this on top of it as I go. So I'm going right up over top so that it gets stuck so you don't have to worry about that at the end. So all you're just going to do for round number one is that you're just going to match exactly what you see. So you got three double crochets. You have a chain one here. You're just going to match. So just put in a double crochet into each one of the stitches as you go across. This is why it doesn't matter the multiples on this particular um, border design is that it will work out for you. So going into each one of the double crochets with the new double crochet in the chain one space just go right around the space itself and you're going to continue along until you get to the next corner. So it can be the entire uh, afghan going all the way across. So all corners are going to be exactly identical to each other. So when we started we started off doing partial of one corner but we haven't actually finished it just like you see. So here we go. So the next one is the corner. So right into the chain two space or any space that you have in a corner you're always going to apply three uh, double crochets here and then chain two and then three double crochets in. So that's what you're going to do on every corner. So what I want you to do is that I want you to go all the way around your particular example that you have and do the same thing. So just one double crochet in each including the chain one spaces. If you have a different uh, kind of uh, border then just go all the way across and then in the corners it's uh, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Please do that and I'll meet you at the beginning corner once again. So as I come back around remember that we already started partially doing the first corner so we're going to finish that and we are going to put in three double crochets to finish and don't forget we still have to chain two after that. Okay so let's just chain two and then join it to the top of the beginning. So this particular um, birthday cake design or the, the birth yeah this birthday cake design what's going to happen is that we're going to be looking at the outside edges just like you see here. So when we go to fasten this off what you have to just pay attention to is that you do not impede with that edge. So let's just uh, pull this through and using a darning needle in this particular case you'll need to and then using a darning needle all I want you to do is that I want you to put it on. So the front side is going to be more visible to you so turn it around and just glide that hook or sorry glide that needle into some stitch work without actually making it come on top of the seam here. 
because you will see that. So just pulling it through. Now if you go through back and forth three times and I want you to do this every time you hit this round so I'm only gonna show it this once is that this will permanently be locked in and it'll never fall out on you. Nothing worse than getting all the way in your afghan done and at the end your border strands fall out. So back and forth three times. Do that every time you're uh, finishing off a round in one of these and you can just snip it right to the project and now you're good to go. So let's begin round number two. So now we want to create the piping look. This is what I called the birthday cake. It reminds me of piping on the side of a cake. And so now we're going to attempt to do this section here of the layers happening. Okay, so if you pull it apart you can see that the green here is attached to the pink just like you see. So you get these layers of colors. So it's easier to access this if it was a front post but if I look at this project now I have to do it as a back post. So what I want to do in order to do this and how I did it is that I turned it around and I accessed it from the front post on the rear side. So taking your square just turn it over and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna access and do this on the rear side and therefore you'll have the look that appears on this side but without all the aggravation of going in the back post. So let's grab our new yarn, create a slip knot once again and we're gonna go right into a post just like you see here or right into a corner sorry. So now that we're just gonna join it just like you see here and I want to join it with a slip stitch like I did before and then chain three. One, two, three. Counts as a double crochet and I want you to double crochet again into the corner or the corner two more times. So the chain three plus those two now count as three. So now in this particular example every post that you have here will now have the, the a front post double crochet. So wrapping the hook and then going into the post from the side coming out the other side. Okay if you lay this string down over top you can bury it underneath without having to use a darning needle. Pull it through and then through two and two. So you're going around the post. So wrapping it go to the next post that you see Okay, come out through the side. This is a called the front post double crochet if you're curious. And you're gonna keep continue to do that. Okay, I'm just burying that loose end as I go. And now I'm satisfied that that loose end is now in enough times. Let me just get rid of that because it's just easier to show you without that impeding the instructions. And so all you're just gonna do is every post is gonna be a front post double crochet all the way to the corner. So in the corner space, the chain two space, you are going to apply three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet right into the corner and therefore that will match. So I'll meet you at the next corner. So let's do a slip knot and do our first corner. The corners will always be the same from here on in. Do not do them as double crochet because the fact is that we're going to be playing with the post. The um, posts sink down therefore a double crochet in the corner space versus in the post will be a different height and will not match each other. So just going into the chain two space right in the corner just attach your yarn uh, once again as a slip stitch and then chain two this time. So one and two. So every time you're growing this now from here on in if you continue this pattern it's always a chain two which counts as a double or uh, half double crochet and I want you to half double crochet two more times into that corner. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen each time you hit a corner. Okay, so now let's continue. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna work on the front post double crochet only. So to do that lay the string down so it matches the first post. Wrap the hook and going through the post through the side and back out through the other side. Wrap it, pull through and then double crochet as usual. So you're going to continue every post to be a, uh, a double crochet. So going into the side of the next one back out the other side and then going through. So I'm just bearing the string of the starting string as I go so I don't have to worry about it later and so just wrapping it go to the next one through the side out the other side. This is a front post double crochet and see it's a lot easier to do it that way than it is this side to get the back post and so now you're creating the layers of the looking of the pipe, the piping. So now I got that in enough of this uh, strand so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that get that out of my face here gets easier. So I want you to do a front post double crochet all the way across to the corners. So what's gonna happen in every corner? It's gonna be simply three half double crochets, chain two, three half double crochets into there. So I'll be there in just a moment if you bear with me. So I'm just doing front post double crochet across. When I originally uh, designed this I was doing the back post as, and it was just such a pain and I realized if I just turn the afghan upside down 
that I can get a better access to it and I can be a lot more faster. It's about speed, right? And it's about convenience. So you're gonna go every post all the way to the corner to the next chain two space. So here's the chain two space. So three half double crochets. So one and two and three. You're gonna chain two and then back into that same one for three more half double crochets. So one, two and three. And then continue along then every post is just going to get one uh, 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 front post double crochet. So let's turn around and look at it from the other side. So you can see you're getting the layers just like this. So go all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So as I get all the way back around to the beginning uh, just remember that you already started with doing a partial corner. So you're gonna finish the corner when you get all the way back around. And I'm still doing my front post double crochets in each one until I get to the end. Here's the corner. So it's gonna be three half double crochet to finish. So one and two and three. And don't forget to chain two. And then just attach it to the top of the beginning chain two and then fasten this yarn off. So use that darning needle again. So here's what it looks like so far. See how sharp that looks? So you've just gone from like a really kind of a, a simple idea and now you're getting these beautiful layers. I'm gonna show you one more round because that's what I did for the pattern but you can do this round as many times as you want to. It'll stay in balance as long as you honor those corners of being half double crochet. So fasten off and join another color and I'll see you at the next part. So let's just do one more round just for the fun of it because I did three rounds of this when I designed it. So just another slip stitch. Again still looking at the back. Don't look at the good side. Look at the back. Go into any corner. Can be the one that you just finished. It doesn't matter. They're all equal. And you're just going to join it with a slip. Again a slip stitch. Then chain two counts as a half double crochet. And then you're gonna half double crochet two more times into there so that you get your equivalent to three. So all, all it is is that every time you go around you can see that the square has gotten bigger as you can see from the original that we started off right in the center. And so again continuing front post double crochet going around. Again locking in that straggler as you go. It's just easier. If you would prefer to use a darning needle that's up to you but you don't really have to. Okay so if you bury it in enough times it'll be good. So catching all the, of the front post double crochets all the way to the corner. Do you remember how to do a corner? So three half double crochets, chain two, three half double crochets right in the corner. So please do that all the way around. I'll just uh, do that and then I'll see at the end of this round where we'll finish off. Make sure when you come all the way around that you do three half double crochets, chain two and then fasten off. I'll see you at the end of this round. So when I last left you I was leaving that final border. You can continue to go as much as you want. You can see the beautiful layers of this. It has texture to it and it makes for a fabulous border. So until next time this is Beyond Borders and this is Michael on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.